What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and I'm back with another video. Got a vegetable garden update for you this week. Nothing too crazy. I'm definitely not an expert by any means when it comes to vegetables. I like to just dabble in them a little bit, you know. But I do have four pepper plants going right now and some lettuce. So I figured I'd bust out a quick video and show you what I got going on. But before we get into the video, Gotta give a shout out to AC Infinity for hooking me up with this gift box. I actually opened up this gift box on one of my live streams on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash MrGrowIt. I'm on there doing lives, you know, one to two times a week. Oftentimes I have a guest on there as well. In the box there was so many goodies. Got some stickers, candies, some shears, and a Controller 69 Developer Edition. And they're not just hooking up me, they're hooking up you as well. They actually provided me with a discount code for my viewers. You can use code MrGrowIt for a percentage off of any of their products. So once again, thank you AC Infinity for this gift. All right, here we are in my two foot by four foot grow tent. This one is by AC Infinity. You can see I got the lettuce there, got a couple freaks in the middle. And then there on the left side of the grow tent, I have four pepper plants. So these pepper plants are actually a variety called bullnose peppers. It looks very close to bell peppers, but they're a smaller version of them. Let's actually start off talking about the bullnose peppers. These ones are uh, coming right along. Definitely got some fruit forming so far. You can see right here, I'm shaking them. This is in order to allow pollen to drop down and, and pollinate the flowers. The flowers will then turn into peppers once pollinated. So you can see right here, I'm peeling off the flowers around the pepper that's forming there. I think in the future, I'm gonna use a swab to actually grab pollen from the flowers to pollinate them. I've had a couple flowers that actually dropped off. They weren't pollinated uh, doing the shake technique. So hopefully that'll help uh, pollinate more in the future. This plant has quite a few as well. This one back here, a little bit bigger of peppers. I've got one, two, and then there's a third one here as well. Fourth plant back here, I've got uh, quite a few peppers on here. These ones are bigger as well than the front two ones. This is the biggest one of them all. Uh, this one I would say is pretty close to harvest. I'd love to know when you guys determine when to harvest peppers. Let me know down in the comment section below. I mentioned on my last video that I'm pretty new to peppers. This is my first round growing peppers. Definitely going to continue to grow them out in the future. But I love hearing feedback. I love to hear what you do in your garden that helps you and makes you successful growing them. So maybe I could take some of those best practices and implement in my garden. So yeah, let me know what tips and techniques you use on when to harvest. These plants are grown in one gallon containers, so a little smaller of a container than some of you may like. I know in my last video there were several folks that said that I should potentially grow in larger containers, whether they be three gallon containers or five gallon containers, but a little bit bigger of containers. Some have said that I would have gotten a little bit better of a result. However, I see lots of folks growing in these smaller containers, one gallon containers. So I know it is possible. I do have a little bit of space constraints. So that's why I chose to go with one gallon containers this round, but hey, maybe next round I'll go with a bit larger of containers. I'm going to have a separate video with an update on these two freaks. This video is just going to be on the vegetables. Moving on to the head of lettuce that I have here. This is actually the container that I had the cut and come again. I had half of the container, butter crunch lettuce, and then the other half spinach. The spinach didn't do very well at all. I think it's because of the hotter temperatures that are on here. They like the cooler temperatures, you know, low 70s, even into the 60s or below that they can survive in. And some actually say the lower the temps provide a better flavor. Anyways, talking about the lettuce here, butter crunch, uh, it's actually about to bolt. So I am going to harvest this turn this into a salad. I think next time around I'm going to grow probably two, maybe four heads of lettuce in one seven gallon container in the future. I don't think I'm going to do the cut and come again method again, just because I don't eat that much lettuce. Uh, some of it went to compost. Good amount of it actually went to compost. All of these plants were grown with organic amendments. I used earth dust nutrients by the Green Sunshine Company this round, and they're all grown under the ES180 LED grow light, also by the Green Sunshine Company. I said it in the last video, but I'll say it again, this light is a little bit of an overkill for vegetables in my opinion. This light is more for medicinal varieties. I have this light actually dimmed down, I believe all the way to the lowest setting, because these vegetables, they don't need as much light as medicinal varieties. Although the peppers actually probably could take a good amount of light, but lettuce eh, doesn't need that much at all. 
On the outro card here, the video on the left is the previous episode with these vegetables that I spoke about, and the video on the right is automatically generated by the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.